Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU and welcome to the second episode of what I'm titling A12 Jailbreak Watch. Now, definitely check the first episode out, linked down below in the description for more info, but for a quick recap, essentially there's an iOS 12.4 jailbreak. That's the latest public firmware right now. That's going to change very soon, however, and it only supports up to A11 devices, which excludes the latest A12 powered iPhone XS Max, XS, XR, and 2018 iPad Pro models. Now, that might change soon or it might not. For full details and to stay updated by the minute, definitely bookmark our link down below in the description. It's an A12 status checker page. Our fans really like that simply because it does provide immediate update when a jailbreak is released. You don't have to wait for us to push out a video. It will just be listed there for immediate download. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get straight into the new information in today's video. Believe me, there's a lot. I'm going to try to condense it and provide you with the most relevant details that I possibly can. But first, I wanna talk about should you update to iOS 12.4 if you're running an A12 device like I am right here, my iPhone XS Max, because I know I'm going to get so many questions about whether or not you should update. I'm going to say it right here, right at the very beginning of this video, so you can't miss it. All right, so it basically depends on which firmware you're running. If you're running anything iOS 12.2 or lower, which of course also includes 12.2, it's recommended that you stay exactly where you're at because the primary sock puppet exploit actually has a better exploitation rate on iOS 12.2 and lower. It's a little bit dodgy on iOS 12.4. However, if you're running iOS 12.3 or 12.3.1, it is actually recommended that you update to iOS 12.4. Keep in mind though that I'm just a YouTuber, I'm not a jailbreak developer, so I don't have all the ins and outs and all the details. That changes on a moment's notice and it could change really at any second if some new developments were to occur. So just keep that information in mind and make the best decision that you yourself possibly can. Again, I'm just here to provide you guys with updates, all the info you need, and the tutorials. All right, so let's go ahead and jump straight into the new information. Today, hopping on over to Pone's Twitter, he actually said following yesterday's first episode in this series, quote, we are still far away from full A12 support on iOS 12.4, but I have several ideas. I will try to see how much I can expand the partial support soon. So up until this tweet, we actually didn't know whether he was working on implementing full A12 support. So fantastic news there. We now have confirmation that he's at least trying things. And that's also why it is recommended that you stay on 12.2 or lower if you can, if your A12 device is on 12.2 or lower, that you stay where you're at. Because again, he does say that he has several ideas, set ideas, maybe exclusive to 12.2 or lower. It really just depends. Again, only he himself and maybe a few others that are close to him actually know, such as Jake James. But moving on, we have some even more exciting news because earlier this morning, he followed that up saying, quote, successfully got unsigned code execution working on A12 without kernel code execution, or in parentheses, PAC bypass with Jake James, who's another hacker. There's still a lot to do, so don't hold your breath for it, but it is progressing. Fantastic, guys. I can't even believe it. He is making progress, it looks like, on an A12 jailbreak for iOS 12.4, which of course should retroactively include iOS 12.2 and lower, but just not 12.3 and 12.3.1 due to the fact that the sock puppet exploit is in fact closed there. Then he said something pretty interesting. For what it's worth, we don't have a PAC bypass nor kernel code execution. All of this is done without touching them, which is really the most exciting part of it. Now this could maybe, if it ends up working out, revolutionize the way that jailbreaking actually works because it doesn't seem like, at least from reading through this, that we need that PAC bypass or even full kernel code execution to actually install tweaks and mods that enhance the user experience. He then said it's entirely possible that we can get Cydia and Tweaks running without a PAC bypass, but there's a lot to do. This is an entirely new concept, kernel executionless. Again, like I said before, this might even revolutionize the way that jailbreaks are created, delivered, and actually 
how often they're released. And then basically to cap things off, he said what I've been saying basically throughout this entire video, quote, if you're on iOS 12.1.3 through 12.2 with A12, do not update to iOS 12.4. Again, that does lead me personally to believe that he might have something that is exclusive to iOS 12.2 and lower in the works first, and then possibly work on iOS 12.4. Although that is just speculation, it could also just be because again, the Sock Puppet exploit has a better exploitation rate on 12.2 and lower. We're just gonna have to wait and see. That's why there's going to be a third episode in this series. Of course, I will let you guys know the very second we have new and additional information that is pertinent and relevant to the A12 iOS 12.4 jailbreak situation. So just be sure to subscribe and ding that notification bell if you have yet to. And for everyone who has a device earlier than A12, our jailbreak tutorial is about to play now. It's linked down below in the description as well. And if you do own an A12 device, just be sure to stick around and or check out that video. Again, linked below. That way you can familiarize yourself with the jailbreak process for if and when a tool is pushed. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 12.4, the latest public firmware as of recording this video without the need of a computer on A7 through A11 devices. Let's go ahead and get straight into this. There is one caveat. You do actually have to be on 12.4. So this is not iOS 12 through 12.4 support. This is just added 12.4 support. So if you're on iOS 12.3 or 12.3.1, you will actually have to restore to iOS 12.4. So you will need access to a computer to do that. But for everything else, this is actually an on-device jailbreak. If you don't have a computer, you can borrow a friend's PC or Mac. All you have to do is just plug into it, open up iTunes, backup, restore, then restore from your backup. If you don't have iTunes and you're on Windows, just go to iTunes.com and you can download it that way. All right, so let's get into this. There are only three steps. There is a prerequisite though, in addition to that caveat before we get into said three steps. First of all, if you do have an OTA update downloaded on your device, you're going to have to delete it. Now, this is almost irrelevant right now just because iOS 12.4 is the latest public firmware right now, but that's going to change. It's not a matter of if, it's just a matter of when. Apple will patch this, most likely with iOS 12.4.1. So if you're on 12.4, you're watching this at a later date, you're going to have to delete any OTA updates your device may have downloaded. Also, if you do have the iOS 13 beta profile installed, and you just haven't updated to iOS 13, you might actually have an OTA update as well. Now this is important because when Apple actually stops signing iOS 12.4, if you're running it, but you've downloaded an OTA update and you try to actually do this, it will brick your device, forcing you to restore to what will essentially be an unjailbreakable firmware. And you don't want that. So you're going to go inside of the settings application. You're going to scroll down to general, and then you're going to go to iPhone storage, or it'll be iPod storage or iPad storage based on what you have. And then you should see the update right here. It has a little settings gear over on the left for the icon, and it will say whichever iOS version it is. Of course, if you're watching this in the future, it will most likely be iOS 12.4.1. Now, with that said, I'm going to show you guys that we are, in fact, on iOS 12.4, and we're going to proceed with this tutorial. So, we're running iOS 12.4 for the software version right there. You can see that the settings app does, in fact, confirm that. Now, you're just going to go to our tutorial page, which is also our download page. It's linked down below in the description as well as in your cards right now. And you're just going to scroll down essentially to the first step and you're going to tap where it says tap here to download the on-device distribution method. Now this first link is just gathering everything you need, all the resources, and then it will refresh and you're just going to scroll down and tap right where it says tap here and you'll be redirected for a final time. On this website, you're going to tap on install now, and then you should receive a pop-up asking you to install the profile. We're going to tap on allow for that. And then another pop-up saying that the profile has downloaded. We can go ahead and close it and then go inside of the settings application. And we're going to scroll down to general. We were already inside of general to show you guys that I am on 12.4. So settings, general, profile. You should see it right here. Tap on it, followed by install install again, and then you can go ahead and go to the home screen and you can launch up the on-device distribution method. 
Now, if you happen to get any sort of pop-up here asking you to install a VPN, you're going to click accept right there, first of all, but if you get any sort of pop-up asking you to install a VPN, just go ahead and tap on the X in the upper left-hand corner. That has nothing to do with jailbreaking. That is just an ad for this on-device distro method. We're going to go to apps, and of course, keep in mind that we are not associated with this. Um, this is just how we're actually going to get it on device without the need of a computer. Um, so we are just providing the tutorial as well as the downloads for you guys. Now scroll down to where it says tweak box apps right there and just tap it. Then you're going to search for uncover. That's just U N C and then zero instead of an O of course, but it should already pop up. You can tap inside of it. And as long as you get version 3.5.0 or higher, you are good to just tap on install. So we're tapping install now followed by install again. And uh, then you can go to the home screen. You can see that it is downloading and installing. We're actually going to go inside of the settings app though, because we do have to trust it. 